construction video series, tape number one, how to modify a Futaba 7C radio for interface with a helichair unit. Now the first task, which is already completed on this radio, is to drill two 5 16 diameter holes into the top of the radio, shown here. Now these holes are what's going to allow the wires to exit the interior of the radio, go to the chair, and then come back inside of the radio. It's important when you drill, don't drill any deeper than about one inch, and use of a drill stop is recommended so that you don't go too deep. You can drill these if you know what it looks like inside. You can drill them uh, before taking the radio apart, which we do because we know how far we can go and where to drill or you can do it when the radio is disassembled. Okay, we're going to go ahead with the fun part, which is disassembly. First thing is, I, I find the 4-in-1 screwdriver very handy. First thing we do is gently pry up the knob. You just pry a little bit, rotate it around, keep going, just a little bit at a time and eventually it will pop right off. There it comes. Alright, don't make a liar of me. There it goes. And the dial is off. The next step is go ahead and unscrew the antenna. And the antenna is gone. Set aside our parts. And we turn over the radio and we remove the crystal which has already been removed on this radio. We remove the battery and the battery door. Which actually removing the battery can be a little bit tricky. You want to try and get it out without uh, putting any strain on the wires. Which is such a snug fit and then you want to get in there if you can with a fingernail and get under the get under that little tang on the battery to lift it out now that those are out we can proceed with removing the back cover which you'll find four screws one two three four Remove those Phillips screws. Now notice I've got a towel underneath the front of the radio and I've kind of got it bunched up in the middle here down through the middle so that the center part of the radio is what rests on that so that we're not putting force on the switches and, and sticks. Now actually just holding the radio in your hands to remove this back cover is actually probably a better idea. Okay, now we go ahead and remove the back cover, and it's gone. We won't need that for a while. Now, um, some descriptive terms, just to know what we're talking about in the radio. You'll see this moving gimbal here, and this one. These are the primary gimbals for the radio. And then you have your toggle switches, and on the 7C there is one what we call VR knob or variable rate knob which is this one. Now in other radios there may be other sliders and so forth but on the 7C this is the one that we take advantage of in order to operate collective and throttle independently with the helichair.